I'm going to show you how to build the big Bertha. Okay, the tools that you're going to need are an X-Acto knife, or I have a utility knife here, some scissors, some wood glue, some fine sandpaper, masking tape, a tape measure or ruler, and some paint. Pick out your two favorite colors. Oh, yep, yeah, you're also going to need a pencil. The first step we're going to do is mark the engine mount. So the first mark I'm making here is one half of inch. The second one would be an inch and a quarter. And then the third mark is two and a half inches from the bottom. The second step is I'm going to mark a one eighth of an inch on the top. Next, I'll take an X-Acto knife or utility knife and cut a one eighth inch slit for the engine hook. Then I'll place the engine hook on the engine mount. Next, I'll place a bead of glue around the middle line. Then I'll place the Mylar ring and glue it into place. Next, I will glue the engine block on the inside of the engine mount. After this, I will detach the centering rings and get them ready to place over the engine mount. Now I'll put a bead of glue on the second line and then slide the centering ring on the place. And then I'll do the same for the second centering ring. I place a bead of glue and enter the centering ring on the first line. Here's what the engine mount looks like. Now I will sand the fins down smoothly on both sides, all four fins. Then I will cut out the fins with the utility knife and pop them out. For an example, just place the fin on the tube to make sure you have it the right one and then sand the corner of all four. Now we're gonna place the lines. To do that, you take the template, cut it out of the instructions, then tape it on the tube. Here I am marking four lines around the cylinder tube. This is where our fins will be glued. For ease of use, you can use door frame, extend the lines, it works easier than a ruler. Now we're going to glue the engine mount inside of the tube. Just put some glue on your finger, reach in about two and a half inches, place two lines of glue, and make it flush with the tube, as you can see here. Now we're going to put the fins on, so you put a bead of glue on all the lines. I put a thin bead on, and then put a fin and hold it until it dries. And I work my way to the other three and let it set for a few hours. In addition, I'll put glue on the corners for extra hold. In this step, I'm going to attach the lug to the rocket, and I'm going to mark four inches from the bottom. Then I'm going to glue the lug to the rocket. Now it's time to spray paint. I picked up some two-in-one primer and paint. In this project, I'm going to use white for the body and red for the fin and nose cone. So spray it about a foot or two away from the body and give it a good coat. We're gonna do a second coat. Now we're ready to spray paint the fins a different color. Before I did this, I prepared with masking tape, cover the body, and then here we're spray painting the nose cone. After we're done, remove the masking tape that covered the body. Here I'm cutting out the measurement from the instructions. We're going to attach the shock cord and glue it in and then fold it over twice. I am putting the parachute inside the nose cone, straighten out all the cables, slide it through the nose cone, and then make a loop, and then slide the parachute through the loop and pull it tight. Now we're gonna take the shock card and tie a knot into the nose cone, and then I cut off the extra so it fits easily back into the tube. In this step, I am cutting the decals, placing them in warm water until they curl up a bit. Now they're ready to be applied, they easily stick on. I put a stripe on the top, the bottom, and the Big Bertha logo in the middle. Now we're ready to attach the spy cam. It comes with Velcro, it's HD, I'll link up this in the description. Roughly in the middle, you can do on the top or wherever you find a good balance. Then I also found this 
camera hood on the internet which I will also include as a link and I tape it on one side and then I flip it open so you can record and then right before you're ready to launch tape the other side and then you're ready to go okay now we're going to pack the rocket with rocket wadding about seven or eight squares is recommended for this size of rocket so just bunch it up and stuff it in the tube there just a little bit of ways and the rest of it will be pushed down by the parachute. Now take the parachute and fold it three times down and then three times crossed and then roll it up on the strings. Top of the parachute, put it into the top of the rocket. Then bunch up the shock cord and place it inside of the tube. Then place the nose cone on. Now we're ready to put the engine. I'll show you how this works. Place the engine in the engine holder. So we're going to bend the igniter up a little bit and out. Put the igniter as far as you can inside. You can use a plug. Here I've used tape. Take the controller and plug on and hook up to each wire. And here's the controller. You'll put the pin in. The light will turn on and you push the button. And you have liftoff. May the winds be calm, the skies be blue, and your rockets fly straight and true.